So let me tell you my story. <laughs> Three days out of the month, at the start of my cycle, I would be a prisoner in my home. I couldn't leave. I mean, that's how heavy my flow was. That if, if I went out, it could only be for like short periods, like 30 minutes at a time, because depending upon how active I was or what I was doing, I could, you know, have accidents. By the time I got to Dr. Mama's office, I was very discouraged. I felt like n no one was going to help me. I'd, I'd seen numerous doctors. And I think I even started crying, did I not? Uh, you might have. Yeah, I did. I, at have, that, I, have, I have tissues in the office. Yeah, at that point I, I like started crying because I felt like there was finally an ending to something I had been trying. I had been in pain, I had been dealing with this, and I just felt pushed to the back burner by so many other doctors and he was giving me a resolution for it. I met Cooper. It's a tertiary care center, and we do very complex things at Cooper. We're very used to it. So what might be considered difficult for another doctor, I don't necessarily think of as difficult. I mean, he felt the fibroid and immediately said that it was something that needed to be taken care of and that he could do it. Fibroid uterus are actually fairly common. Not all of them give patients uh, pain or symptoms, but many do. Uh, and equally, uh, urinary incontinence, women leaking, is also a very common problem. While I was at my doctor mama, he started questioning me about my, my bladder habits. And, you know, it's something that we all kind of talk about in our little friend circles, you know. It's something that you, you get whenever you've had kids. You, you laugh about it, that if you sneeze, that you end up, you know, peeing on yourself a little bit, or if you cough, you know, you're having to cross your legs or heavy laughing. Um, you know, a lot of my friends were going through the same thing. I never in a million years knew that I could just, there was a surgery out there, a bladder sling that would fix that issue for me. Essentially think of it as a hammock. Think of it as a, a hammock around the middle of the urethra, so that every time there's pressure, there's a backstop, there's support and that support then prevents you from leaking. And so you're able to combine all of that into one surgery and solve the problem. I haven't met an unfriendly doctor with Cooper at all. If I could duplicate Dr. Mama for every doctor I had, I would. Honestly, going to the doctor would be a much more enjoyable experience if there was a Dr. Mama everywhere. He had me laughing before the OR and in the OR while they were prepping me, so. I'm a generally happy person. He you know? is. So it's not difficult to make people laugh. I make a lot of bad jokes, usually about myself, but it all works out. I think education is actually key. Not all of the public knows that these options are available to them. So for a lot of patients, it is a lack of awareness that they may have a problem that we can actually address. I now feel like I have a 20-year-old bladder. If I would have known in my 30s that it could have been corrected that easily, I would have done in my 30s instead of dealing with it. I'm not stuck at home anymore for three days a week. I don't have to worry about if I'm close enough to a bathroom. It's, it's freeing.